All right, greetings YouTube University and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. In this video, I wanna talk about the universal chord progression. Okay, there's hundreds of songs that use the one, five, six, four chord formula in their progressions. Okay, if you ever get a chance to check out the Axis of Awesome on YouTube, okay, they have a, a kind of a mashup, kind of a skit video where they do like literally hundreds of songs um, using this progression. For example, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, Forever Young, U2, uh, With or Without You, Led Zeppelin, All of My Love, The Beatles, Let It Be, John Denver, Take Me Home, Country Roads. There's literally hundreds, if not thousands of songs that you can play with this progression, one, five, six, four, which I call the universal chord progression. All right, so what I've done is I have drawn this little, these little diagrams here okay of the different chords the one chord this is the uh, the diagram now there's any combination of these notes here will basically render you these are open on this side will render you the one chord and I'll show you examples of that here's the five chord it's basically the same thing just the same pattern just moved to the this position here this is this is the uh, the five chord position which is the seventh fret and then we go to the minor six chord, which is the bar chord moves up here to the uh, to the ninth fret, and then the four chord, which is the same bar chord goes up here to the fifth fret here. So I will show you examples of these chord shapes using the three string cigar box guitar. Now these uh, chord shapes are. They're considering the root five one one five one tuning interval. Now it could be any one five one. It could be a, a G D G. It could be a E B E. It could be an F C F or a D A D. It doesn't matter as long as it's a one five one. Then whatever key you're in, these chord shapes will work. So here's the here's the one. Here's another one chord. 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 So any one of these one chords, here's another one. And here's another one. So any of those will function as the one chord. And then when we move from there to the five chord, well here's the five chord. And here's a five chord. Here's a five chord. Here's another five chord. Another five chord. Another five chord. All these are five chords. Then we move from there to the sixth chord, which is the bar chord on the ninth fret. If you want to make it minor, you can put your pinky here. Here's another uh, sixth chord. So that's the sixth chord, and then into the four chord, which is on the fifth fret bar. We're going to make a major. I like to do this chord here. Leave that bottom string open. Here's another four chord. Here's another four chord. Okay, so what I do is I like to play the universal chord progression, the one, five, six, four, and then every time around, I'm gonna use a different voicing or a different chord shape to get rid of that delay. No more delay.
Well, hey, there, folks, there you have it. The universal chord progression. And hope you have fun with that. All right. Until next time. All right, here is a little sample of the universal chord progression. <laughs> Alright guys, so have fun with that. Remember, the universal chord progression. One, five, six, four.